In today's video, Jonathan Sigmund from Alan Flesser is here for the final delivery of my first three-piece pinstripe suit. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Hey, Jonathan, so great to welcome you uh, nice to the to Hangar you Project offices. Thanks for, um, for coming in uh, for the delivery here. of this incredibly special suit. So I couldn't be any more excited. Um, you know, for those that have been following us along in the video, we had the first fitting uh, in New York, I guess, the consultation, you took mm -hmm. measurements. Uh, we had a fitting in Houston uh, during your trunk show. Yep. And then here we are with the finished piece, uh, final fitting and delivery of this beautiful three-piece uh, pinstripe suit. And um, I'm pretty excited. This is my first pinstripe suit, very special fabric. Um, so for those that haven't seen the other videos, you know, why don't you just kind of walk us through a little bit about kind of what the idea was uh, during the consultation process behind this suit. Sure. So I know one thing that Alan was really, uh, well, there are several things that we were focusing on. Uh, first of all, we wanted to make sure we were making you a garment that really took advantage of your high contrast coloring. Um, so you have what we call high contrast features, which is kind of lighter skin, mm -hmm. a little bit darker hair. Um, and when somebody has that type of an appearance, we really like putting them in clothes that are similarly high contrast. So dark navy, a little bit of a stripe here. I know you have a shirt, it's white with a strong stripe mm -hmm. in it as well. Um, so clothes that take advantage of it. Uh, we like to teach that uh, clothes should lead the eye of the viewer to the face of the person mm -hmm. wearing, the, wearing the clothes, wearing the garments. Um, so in this case, you know, since you have these high contrast features, we want to make similarly high contrast clothes so that all looks, um, you know, it has a harmony to it. Yeah. Um, so this cloth was designed by Alan and Luciano Barbera at the Carlo Barbera Mill about eight or nine years ago. Uh, it's one of the, the few final cuts remaining. Okay. We thought it was really great for you. Um, you've mentioned that uh, you, don't, you don't really have a pinstripe or a chalk no. stripe suit. Yeah. Uh, which was surprising, you know, as, as something of a close horse that you seem yeah. to be and quite a stylish guy. Um, so it was exciting for us to think about something that could, um, you know, round out your wardrobe and also ease you into this type of garment. Yeah. Um, well, I couldn't think of a, a more uh, kind of fitting person uh, to do the first piece yeah. than you and Alan. So it's really exciting. And, you know, again, I think in, in the first video, the consultation, I mean, one of the things I really appreciate about Alan's approach uh, is uh, compared to really most of the other made-to-measure people I've seen out there, even custom, just the depth and the breadth behind the consultation process. And I feel like it's so easy for those of us that you know are, are wearing formal clothing often or having formal clothing made to really focus on the product. But I think they miss you know what in some ways is the most valuable part of the entire process, which is that consultation and that personal relationship. For sure. I mean, you can have the most perfectly sewn suit and the most beautifully sewn garment, um, but if the clothes aren't right for you, if the proportions aren't right, if the color isn't right, um, if the waist button, the height of the height of the notch of the lapel, the width of the shoulders, the height of the trouser rise, if those things aren't correct for you, then it doesn't matter how beautifully done the garment is, it's never going to make you look your best. Yeah. Um, so it's something that we think is very valuable and something that we pay uh, a lot of attention to, whether it's made to measure, whether it's custom, bespoke. Um, so. I'm glad you found it useful. Yeah. Well, you know, they always say, I mean, what is it, the, the, the three Fs, you know, fit, fabric, and finish. Um, and, uh, you know, like what you said, you know, it doesn't matter how great the fabric is and how great the finish is or the handwork. If it doesn't fit, the, it doesn't fit. It doesn't look good, right? Without a doubt. And so you've got to nail the fit, which, of course, you know, you guys are experts at. Uh, and then moving on to fabric. I mean, this is such a great example of fabric. I mean, it's a really interesting, you know, triple bead stripe. I mean, this isn't something that you would necessarily even see in a lot of books. You know, it's something that Alan did in collaboration with, uh, you know, Luciano. Um, yeah. And so, you know, this in and of itself is, you know, really unique and singular, you know, really kind of reflecting that bespoke experience. And then finish, you know, again, you know, I think this is such a great bridge between the full custom that you guys offer, which is a much higher price point, and then having to go off the rack. And this being, you know, made to measure, I mean, starting at around $2,400, right, is um, a really a fantastic value when you consider everything else you get along with For that. sure. For a two-piece, they started around $2,400. And again, um, you know, we talked about the, um, you know, the consultation process yeah. that we go through with our clients. But... We're also by no means ignoring the final fit, as you say, mm -hmm. uh, the first F. Um, extremely important, and we pay so much attention to, um, again, whether it's made to measure or custom. Once the garment is made and once it's on the client in our shop or we're, when we're traveling to see you, 
we pay as much attention to the garment as if it were made bespoke in our workshop. Yeah. Um, we want to make sure that it is as close to perfect as it can be before going out the yeah. door. And I think that's one of the benefits of working with someone like Alan, who's got such a name. I mean, he's got his yeah. most recent book, Ralph Lauren is in his own fashion, you know, which is behind us. I mean, you know, he really has his name behind this garment. And so, you know, you can expect that he's going to stand behind it completely. For sure. It's the name and it's the legacy of, you know, 35 years of custom clothing. Mm -hmm. um, and that's another reason, you know, the eye of the people looking at the clothes are um, eyes that have been looking at custom clothing for that long. Uh, Alan having been there, having founded the company 35 years ago mm -hmm. and being at fittings ever since then. Yeah, crazy. Um, me having been there for eight years. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're used to looking at custom and bespoke clothes. Um, and we're used to going through fittings as if we are delivering that type of garment. Yeah. Um, so we still look at these clothes exactly the same way. We still go through the same alterations and, and finishing process in our in-house workshop for the made-to-measure clothes as well. Um, so we think that the, the final product, the value that you're getting from the consultation, the expertise in that, from uh, creating clothes that mm -hmm. really flatter the viewer and that are incredibly soft and comfortable and lightweight, uh, and then that also have an what we think is a, a rather impeccable finish to them uh, is, is um, you know, something we're quite proud of. Yeah. Well, I think that um, you know, it's exciting to have something made to measure from someone that primarily does custom versus going to someone that you know, maybe does ready to wear but also has a custom offering. Sure. I mean, this is definitely, I feel like, your, your anchor in custom pulling the garment up from, from really all those, uh, all those points that we discussed versus you know going into like a, a ready-to-wear shop and having them do something custom where that's the one-off. Right. And the, the design of the garment is also um, echoed by uh, and taken from the design of our custom clothing. So of course there's the consultation and the guidance and the finish of the clothes, but at the same time there's the shape of the notch lapel, there's the mm -hmm. curvature of the pocket, um, there's a slight curvature of the front pocket that echoes the shape of the front of the coat, um, there's the angle of the back pocket that helps mm -hmm. to give you kind of a sweeping um, sweeping skirt, um, the positioning of the waist button, again, um, the shoulders are soft, they're relaxed, but there's some expression to them, it's okay. not flat. Um, you know, all these things. You know, the high-waisted trousers. The, the, the high-waisted the trouser, waist, waist the, coat. the waistcoat is especially unique, um, as we'll see when you actually try it on. Um, the curvature of the front, the top corner, the bottom corner, all these things echo the shape of the coat. Um, echo the shape of the pockets, and they all have a reason for being, and it's all, again, taken from the design of our custom clothes that yeah. we've been doing for, for a long uh, time. pretty much the same house model that we've been making for 35 years or so. Um, so, again, all these yeah. things come together to make a product that we think is, is quite yeah. unique. You know, with so much made-to-measure out there, especially in New York, you know, there's probably get more made-to-measure offerings than any place in the world, it's surprisingly difficult to find a really good made-to-measure garment. Yeah, well, I'm glad you appreciate this. I'm glad you've noticed. Um, we like to think that when we deliver the made-to-measure garment that from 10 feet away, somebody wouldn't be able to tell the difference between it and one of the custom pieces. Um, that's how much time and effort goes into it, and uh, we hope it comes through. Yeah, well, without further ado, let's try it on. Great. All right. Wow, well, I mean, this feels amazing. Good. Yeah, it looks great. I can't tell you how comfortable this is and just how incredible it feels. Good. I mean, it looks, and it looks amazing. I agree. And you know, so again, the cloth, um, a little bit higher contrast for you, a little bit of a darker navy um, with a subtle pinstripe to kind of ease you into uh, that first pinstripe or mm -hmm. chalk stripe suit. Uh, a bit of a, uh, again, a bit of a different type of shirt for you. I mean, it's yeah. a strong multi-striped navy mm -hmm. shirt with a solid tie to anchor it all together, I think presents you in a really, really interesting way. Yeah, this is uh, definitely, I'm re I feel like I'm ready to be in New York or London. This is amazing. <laughs> per yeah, perfect New York suit, perfect mm -hmm. London suit. Swap the brown shoes for black shoes. For yeah, London. absolutely. Um, higher rise trouser, two forward pleats on each side. It's our, our house model. Um, a, a really beautiful vest. We talked about this a little bit, but it's just a gentle shape mm -hmm. along the front, uh, the corners of it that echo the shape of the coat. Since the height of the trouser is a little bit higher, you can cut a shorter vest, which mm -hmm. we think is really elegant. It yeah. gives you a longer leg line. And you can't see it, but I'm wearing braces mm -hmm. you know, with this to yeah. keep the trousers up. Perfect. And um, you know, I mean, there is a lot of extra room in these, yeah. which again, wouldn't allow them to be worn without the braces, but it works so beautifully. Yeah. As a three piece, and especially as long as you're willing to wear the braces all the time, it is incredibly comfortable. That's you know, so comfortable. Once you're sitting down for a while, your, weight, you know, your waist expands, obviously. Yeah. Um, and you're wearing 
when you're wearing trousers that uh, aren't cut for braces that are having to sit tight mm -hmm. on, your, on your waist, it can be pretty uncomfortable over yeah. the course of the day. I mean, the trousers are just floating. I mean, they're so comfortable. Good. Um, and again, you know, the pleats are op opening perfectly. Um, I mean, it just, it just drapes. It looks great. You know, there are, we, we weren't sure if this was going to be a delivery or kind of a final fitting. Um, since I'm going back to New York, there are a couple little things that we're going to okay. take care of and, yeah. and great. send it back to you. But on the whole, it looks really great. The bones yeah. of it are great. Um, I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah. And I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Well, but, uh, I can't see anything I would change, <laughs> but you've got the expert's eye. So. Sure. So just a couple little things. We're going to lengthen this right sleeve just a little bit. Um, I'll, I'll note a couple of the things that we, we talked about in mm -hmm. Houston. You know, we, we changed the pitch of the sleeves a little bit. We rotated them forward, so now it lies quite nicely. Slope the shoulders a little bit more so it doesn't have that break that it had at Houston. Um, the collar, we're gonna, we're gonna pinch just a little bit more. Um, it's sitting on you now, but when you move around, it still tends to pull off just a little bit. Okay. So you just really want that to grip your neck tightly. Mm -hmm. Again, lengthen the sleeve just a fraction. Um, once we take the coat off and the vest, we'll take a look at the we'll take a look at the trousers. But on the whole, it looks really great, and I'm excited about it. Yeah. We just want to make sure that we get it really dialed in. And yeah. then, uh, it's definitely a higher end made to measure product. I mean, most made to measure programs, you're lucky if you get one fitting and then it's just delivered. Right. Anything after that's really not addressed. And sure. again, you were saying that you know uh, you and Alan don't really differentiate between custom and made to measure. It's still all delivered to the same standards. Without a doubt. And there is a balance, you know. We don't want to inconvenience somebody by having three or four fittings if that's not necessary. So ideally by the second fitting, it's it's pretty close to ready to mm -hmm. go. But as long as it's convenient, since I'm here, yep. since I can take the suit back with me, yeah. we might as well do those little extra things just well, to make sure it's perfect. And it's still my first piece too, right? Which you're yeah. always gonna spend a little exactly. bit more time on that. Once you know, once you order something else, all of these um, adjustments and alterations that we're making to the garment we're going to be making to the actual base pattern. Yeah. So the next time you commission something, it'll be a whole lot closer to this yeah. final version on the first try. Yeah, it was beautiful. Great. This is, um, I mean, this is um, so comfortable. And again, the high-waisted trousers cut uh, loose with the braces, I mean, it works together in allowing you know, this to one, be comfortable, but I'm not a, I don't feel the need to adjust anything. Right. It's not pinching on the, the waist. And then, you know, whenever I was sitting down and standing up, I mean, the moment I stand up, everything just drapes uh, it, right in place. It, it's so great because it moves with you. You know, like you said, you're never having to worry about uh, hiking it up after you sit down or loosening it. You know, if you have braces with si or if you have pants with side tabs, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't pulling have braces, you'll be pulling them tight and then maybe yeah. loosening them throughout the day. So again, it's, it's just so great because it keeps it right where you want it at your natural waist. Never have to worry about it getting out of place. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a great feature, yeah. especially with a three-piece. So talk a little bit about the model and the silhouette, because I know that uh, this is something that I really enjoyed so much during the consultation process mm -hmm. was uh, Alan's uh, ability to really, I think, nail uh, just a classic but slightly updated aesthetic um, that I feel like I've been uh, seeking for a long time, but it's been elusive. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you guys have nailed it. So talk a little bit about Thank that you. because, I mean, this, looking at it in the mirror, is just beautiful. Thank you. Uh, the proportions are timeless, right? The, the length of the jacket, the height of the trouser, the length of the waistcoat, where this, no where this notch lapel hits on, your, um, hits on your chest and on your shoulders, um, the width of the shoulders, all of those make such a difference in the final garment. At the same time, it's a bit of a, mo a more modern silhouette. You know, just because it's a classic proportion doesn't mean it has to be full, doesn't mean mm -hmm. it has to be stuffy. Um, so the, ta the pants, while they're pleated, are tapered down to about an eight inch bottom. So it's a relatively modern cut as far as pleated pants go. Yeah. Um, you know, the jacket has quite a bit of shape to it. There's mm -hmm. a little bit of fullness here, but yeah, you can see when you button it, it has some suppression in the yeah. waist. So you have nice shape. Um, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful updated, um, our updated drape is yeah. what we call it. So timeless proportions, but a modern silhouette. Yeah, you know, and the three pieces, again, you know, people would think, you know, really classic, almost vintage. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's nothing uh, out of date or not relevant about this. And it's just such a practical garment, too. If you're in an office where you feel comfortable wearing a three-piece suit or a separate waistcoat, um, so often throughout the day, I'll only be wearing my waistcoat and my mm -hmm. trousers and shirt and tie, yeah. but just the freedom of moving around, you know, doing things, being active without a jacket on, but still looking very professional and very yeah. presentable because of the waistcoat is really great. Yeah. I mean, waistcoats are fun and there's something that I, I'm happy to add another mm -hmm. one to my, my wardrobe. Yeah. Especially in this cut. It's quite yeah. beautiful. And with the, the triple bead pinstripe, mm -hmm. 
I mean, again, I, I don't know if the subtlety is lost on the camera, but you know, it has nice visual detail up close without mm -hmm. being too heavy. But then from a distance, it kind of all blends together as a soft chalk stripe. For sure, that's, that's the whole idea. It's the same thing with our solid garments or our solid fabrics. Okay. We like making clothes that um, are, look like one thing, look you know, quite simple from a distance, but when you get up close, there's something quite interesting mm -hmm. about it. Instead of a plain weave, we might make something that's a bird's eye. Yeah. Um, same thing with this, instead of a plain chalk stripe, um, that's why Alan did this with Luciano, something very, very interesting and, and different that sets it apart from the mm -hmm. regular garment. And again, you mentioned the subtlety of it. We chose that because it's your first pinstripe or chalk mm -hmm. stripe style suit. Um, so something that's a little bit softer, even though it's quite interesting, um, the softness of the stripe um, kind of eases you into the world of uh, somewhat more dandified suits. Yeah, and even the collar. I mean, the collar is really high. I mean, the, you know, the collar band on this is mm -hmm. substantial. So, it's not uncomfortable. Good. Uh, uh, and looking in the mirror, I mean, it just, again, just pulls it all together mm -hmm. and really heightens the formality of this piece, but it's still balanced uh, also. Quite balanced. You know, it's balanced because it's designed in proportion to you. Um, the, even though it is quite tall and with a longer point length, I think it's probably three and five eighths point length, um, it looks balanced because you have such a tall neck. Mm -hmm. So it frames your face really, really well. The collar points are long enough to sit underneath the waistcoat. Um, and again, we raised it just a little bit, if you remember from the mm -hmm. first fitting yeah. in Houston when we did the white shirt. And I think it came together really nicely. Yeah, and again, you know, the uh, I mean, what is this like a quadruple stripe, yeah. you know, pin stripe? <laughs> yeah. But because we've got the waistcoat, mm -hmm. you know, and you don't see much of the shirt. It's not like right. I'm wearing this, you know. And you can see uh, all of the stripes. Right. Uh, you know, it has a boldness to it, mm -hmm. but still maintains the subtlety. It's not, yeah. you know, when you when I whenever I saw the shirt, you know, out of the bag, it looked really bold. <laughs> But you wear it like this, and it just, again, it is consistent with um, so much of this garment. Right. And again, there's a balance um, conversation because the width of the stripe, of the chalk stripe, and the width of your shirt stripe uh, are in proportion to each other. One is quite wide, mm -hmm. and the other is um, equidistant from each yeah. other. It's a bolder stripe, but mm -hmm. it's still equidistant from yeah. the white um, ground of the cloth. Yeah. So whenever you're mixing patterns like this, you know, you wouldn't want a wide stripe shirt with this wide striped suit. Mm -hmm. Similarly, if you ever get a thin pinstripe, you wouldn't want to wear these together because then they start to clash. Mm -hmm. um, but it all comes together and is all harmonious because the, the scale of the patterns is quite nice together. Yeah. You know, I'm wearing it with a, a nice dark navy, mm -hmm. a sovereign grade grenadine fino. But what other type of ties would you suggest with this outfit I'm wearing? Um, for you, I think this is the perfect tie. It's a wonderful shade of navy. It looks great with the shade of the suit. Um, for somebody that is willing to be uh, a little bit more aggressive or uh, perhaps play around a little bit more with their accessories, you could wear something that has a similar um, scale as the suit. Mm -hmm. So that means a little bit larger, right? Okay. So the pattern, the motif, whether it's a large paisley or a large um, printed uh, silk tie, you could do something like that as long as it uh, pairs somehow with the blue and the white of the shirt mm -hmm. and the suit. Um, and you could also do kind of a rep stripe, a, a simple rep stripe, as long as, again, the tie is quite, um, the scale of the stripe is quite mm -hmm. wide so that it doesn't clash with the shirt. Um, it would be quite nice together. Yeah. But that would really be, you know, quite aggressive, having yeah. three strong patterns together. So uh, I so, think the way you've done yeah. it here is, is ideal. Yeah, this is, a, I mean, that's why I love a dark navy yeah. grenadine fino. I mean, it, such it, a classic it, tie. It pulls so many So safe together. to wear. I mean, it's like if you had one tie in your wardrobe, you could you know, wear this all year. That's the go-to. Yeah. Okay, I'll just face that way a little bit. Get a little nip to the collar. Just a little bit, just to make sure it really sticks there. You know, the importance of the collar can't be overstated, can it? Yeah, it, it is absolutely one of the fundamental pieces of the garment. It's just making sure that it is always on your neck. Um, okay, you can face me. Okay, let's take a look at the waistcoat and trousers. Yeah, vest looks great. Really nice shape. Just face this way, please. Just gonna raise and tighten this collar a little bit to again get it up there on your neck, it's sinking a little bit behind. Trousers look good, so if you remember that they were 
uh, collapsing just a little bit in, in the back thigh. Okay. Um, so what we did was uh, lower the back waistband, which means raising the back of it up a little bit, just to give you a really clean line, which it has now, which is great. Comfortable, I guess. Super full, comfortable. Full in the waist, trim Incredible. on the seat. Yeah. Pleats look really great. They're lying really clean. Yeah. And I like the cloth back to the waistcoat also. The lining back? Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah it's Sorry, the lining. Um, the, uh, the, the, the stripe of the lining is the same as the sleeve lining as the mm -hmm. coat, which we think is pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty classic Savile Row style of yeah. waistcoat. Okay, okay, great. Beautiful piece. Wow. Then all we'll do is just a little uh, couple nips to the jacket and yeah. send it your way. Gosh, I'm so excited. Hey, Thank you so much. Thank you.